Oh, yeah, you're free to go. I'm going to boost your microphone out in here. All right. Yeah. Let me know when I can give the signal. Wait, I don't know who I'm talking to to start the timer. Okay, here we are. Oh, we're going to skip all the cutscenes of this game are skippable. So as soon as I hit the button, we're going to start the timer. We are, here we are. Three, two, one. Oh wait, shit. I need to set my mouse settings. Sorry. I forgot about that. All right. I got my settings in order. All right. Three, two, one, go. Almost forgot about that. I have a mouse that has different uh, settings. If I don't do it right, it doesn't work. Alright, so first level here, um, the big skip is coming up about halfway through. I'm gonna jump, get hit intentionally. I will be jumping into ledges here so that I get shorter animations there. If you just walk into those ledges, it's kind of a long animation. Skipping the save book is faster. And then we're gonna cast a Flapendo spell on that. Here's the big skip. Got it. So that saves, you know, all, just over 10 seconds. Doing this route is much faster than doing the intended route. We're going to get up on the exterior of the level over here. Alright, that was actually a good level. <laughs> so you might be thinking, wait a second. That's out of bounds, but actually, this is still inside the map. The map is very big. So the map actually includes that area over there. Yeah, this is the PC version. If people don't know, there are five different versions of this game. This is not the GameCube version. There, there are, this game was released for six consoles, and in five completely different versions, that all that none of them play the same. They all have different levels and different mechanics, different movement. So one of the tricks you might have seen me do is whenever I jump, I'm going to be casting, a, just spamming the left mouse button, and that's to cancel the jumping animation. Is it actually possible? Um, I'm not sure. There's some stuff in this game that's kind of questionable, but it's impossible to ban because it just happens. It's very easy to encounter a glitch in this game, so I'm just going to do my best to avoid it. Alright, here we are. We're just going to go up the stairs. So it's just going to do some parkour here to save those extra little pieces of time. Kind of missed that one. Alright, here's a cool little, uh bit of routing. You can do that. Skips having to go all the way around. Alright, and now here we have the first spell lesson. It's basically a cutscene. We're actually going to fail this because it's much faster to fail. So we're manipulating the RNG here by not hitting wouldn't call it easy. I don't. I you probably have a lot of delay, Liam. So I don't know which part you're talking about. If anyone doesn't know, Liam Orovec is another runner of this game. He has the record in this category. Yeah, we're intentionally screwing up this part. People like to make jokes about, oh no, I'm missing it. But uh, you have to do this to go fast. Because uh, the time that you spend in a certain map later completely uh, depends on how many points you get awarded during this session. 
And if I actually hit these arrow keys inputs, uh, it would give me about 30 house points if I did them all. Actually, exactly 30. Yep, this is a DDR section, so. Very close. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just barely not getting these inputs in. Unfortunately, Wingardium Leosun is not going to be in this game for some reason. It's in the. It's fun fact. They they did program Leviosa into the game, but it's never used. All right, Harry, All right now we're doing the first real level. gonna cast at this crab right before the cutscene to stun him during the cutscene, knock him into the pit, there we go. And we're gonna ride this little platform up here to the top, like this. Oops, kinda messed it up. Oh, it caught me, never mind. All right. <laughs> Jumped a little early there, if you do that correctly you can just make it all the way up. Again, we using the Record December spell to stun the, uh, the snails, then we use Flipendo to push them into the pits. I don't worry, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pause cast. So there is a glitch that allows you to cast spells very quickly. And we're not gonna use it because obviously this is glitchless, so it's completely banned. So we have to wait like a second between each spell. Yeah. Don't worry, I've trained myself. Alright, so here there's like a trap. The floor falls out over there, and you have to kill these crabs. Alright, I'm gonna try something a little risky. No, I, I didn't go for it. Right. If you, if I had been on a better cycle there, I could have gone for kind of a cool trick, but uh, I was on a bad cycle. Alright, this is another thing that looks like a glitch, but isn't. It turns out there's a grabbable ledge in this wall right here. And then once you're here, you can... Oops, I got animation locked, unfortunately. This happens. There we go. Alright. Nothing you can really do about that. If you take damage in a ledge climbing animation, you will get... Your character will get locked in that uh, pose. Nothing you can do. Here, this has the same solution every time, so we just memorize it. There we go. So if you've seen any percent runs of this game, you might be familiar with brightness boosting, which is a glitch that um, abuses certain things in the game to make you uh, fly in the air really high. But we're not going to do that. Also, we just skipped all that platforming by jumping right across. Oops, we just got a little boost there. Happens sometimes. You'll see I kind of moved up into the air. Nothing I can do about that. Didn't get through the bars fast, but it's okay. Yeah, so what we can do with glitches that I'm not going to do is fly way up in the air whenever we're in a ledge grab with the, the boosting mechanics that I'm not going to go into. So that allows us to skip um, certain parts of levels. Alright, I'm going for fast strats here. Oh, missed it. Sometimes you can hit these crabs right into their holes immediately if you do it just right, but I did the slow way. Yeah, if you flush the texture cache while you're grabbing a ledge, for some reason you get boosted into the air. Alright, we need to pray that these crabs cooperate, because these guys can, can do some funky stuff and just choose not to fall into the hole. But so far they're being okay, last crab. And we're good. So that's it for the first challenge. Each spell, when you learn a spell, you have a level that kind of you go through to, to demonstrate how the spell is used. I'm waiting there so I don't get pushed off. And we're done. I'm not using glitches. <laughs> You'll see, there's some stuff that um, definitely looks questionable later on. But right now, this is... Uh, okay, so here's the RNG. And, of course, we get the best RNG. Because we are awesome. So that's the best possible result. 
And we also spawned a frog there, which is kind of funny. All right, so now we're going to play Quidditch. This part is coming up as an auto-scroller, actually. So Quidditch is incredibly easy. Don't softlock. Don't worry, I won't softlock. I'm a trained professional. We're already like behind by a bunch because I kind of messed up some movement. Alright, so now we have the most exciting auto-scroller in the game. All I have to do is just not get hit by the bludgers, and I will get the... Okay. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, easier said than done. <laughs> so the bludgers are kind of hard to avoid, because you're on rails. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, this game is five versions, and they're all completely distinct. Alright, so here we've got, like, a little competitor over here. This girl is going to try to catch the snitch, so we're going to have to shove her out of the way. And we specifically... Okay, she hit me. That's kind of random. So, unfortunately, it, it's a little bit random whether she hits you or not. It makes you lose time there, so she actually knocked into me. So also, one thing that I'm doing that you don't see behind the scenes is that I'm actually, I have two keys bound to every direction. So when I move forward, I'm holding two different keys. This lets you accelerate faster, coming out of a standstill. So whenever I want to move in a direction, I have eight directions I can move in. Uh, you know, forward, backwards, left, right, and then com any combination of those. So I have two keys bound to different directions. And I also have one key bound to skip cutscenes. Alright, so we're going to try to avoid the soft lock here. If you do this too quickly... Alright, we played that very safe. If you, if you just run through that lesson real fast, your game will soft lock and you have to reset. Now we're going to the Scourge Challenge. This first part of the game is kind of fast paced. Um, it's kind of one thing after another. So again, we're going to try to get on the railings here so we can get up faster. There we go. Save like a few seconds by doing that. Alright. So now we're going to learn the Scourge spell. And fun fact, we actually have to hit the arrow keys here, otherwise you lose time. Chamber of Secrets folder back. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over... Alright, I'm trying to think what else can I explain while we're in this cutscene. Oh, I don't... I didn't... I think I... Did I explain jumping tech, how I, how I hit the mouse button while I'm jumping to cancel the animation? When you jump... Uh, when you jump, you have 205 move speed, and when you walk, you have 210. So if you jump, but then cancel the jumping animation, you still keep your higher max speed. Also, this is a very uh, interesting DDR section. Hello, Vass. How's it going? Oh, yeah, so sometimes this game can screw you over and, and say that you didn't hit the buttons even when you did. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Now that I've mentioned it, though, it probably will. Alright, of course, someone, every time this comes up, uh, someone makes the fidget, fidget spinner joke. That, uh, so this game came out in 2002. Well done, Harry. And it predicted fidget spinners. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, go. All right, we did not get any troll inputs. All of the necessary exercises. 15 points to Gryffindor. Okay, so noticeably we are not going to be skipping this level because this is glitchless. In any percent, we can uh, clip into a wall slightly to, to, to jump over that railing that I just walked by. But we're not allowed to do that in glitchless, so we have to go through the entire level. So what I'm going to do here is kind of launch myself off this object right all the way over here. 
and avoid the stars. Stars give you more um, points within the level, and if you e exit the level with too many points, you'll actually have to go back to the to the map with the beans in it, and that wastes a lot of time. So you you definitely don't want to collect more than like one or two stars. Also, Peeves fight. Alright, it was okay. We only missed one shot on him. Alright, so here's a really cool trick that is my one of my favorite tricks in the game. So I just stopped this thing by blocking it with my body. And uh, fun fact, certain moving objects in this game will actually just stop dead in their tracks if you get in front of them in the right way. And that happens to be one of them. It's actually programmed to do that. I don't know why. It's just a, like an oversight. Alright, here, you're not supposed to actually be able to jump on those pressure plates, you're supposed to hit the snails in. But you can just activate it with the weight of Harry. Because they didn't filter it. Alright. So more, just... Going like this. Oh, here's an interesting trick. This is called Scale Skip. So, this platform has three different states, and it only changes states... It only tilts one way when you hit the middle of the platform right there, so I just jumped on the side and skipped um, skipped that entire puzzle. That's actually kind of a, a this, you're supposed to like go upstairs and like drop a weight on the other end of the scale to like make it so you can walk up. Okay, so we finished Scourge. That was actually really clean. I, you know, uh, didn't mess anything up. I should also note that. Um, the movement in this game is much more difficult than it looks because there's a ton of mouse acceleration on your character, on your movement. Alright, so we're actually not that far behind right now because even though I had a bad Rick Sempro, we, um, we got the best RNG. Okay, so I'm going to open this chest over here in hopes of spawning a health pickup because I don't have full health right now and I kind of want it. Okay. So, how do I explain this part? This is uh, the dungeon quest map, so we're going to get the bicorn horn for uh, the Apologies potion. So there's a, a bunch of tricky platforming. I'm going to activate... Oh, wait, that's not... Wait, we're doing RTA strats? No, okay. Activate this Lumo statue to trigger a cutscene. Makes this platform fall faster, so I can get on it earlier. Do some platforming right there. That's slower RTA, but I do have my splits open, so... Here, we just shoot this, fall down... I'm going to try to go as fast as I can to make a cycle. I think I made it. We'll see. I'm going to shoot these boys as early as possible. I think I got that one, yep. Alright, so ideally you want to get these in the hole in two hits. That one took three. It's pretty normal. I should be able to get this guy in two. Yep, alright, so that was fast. Then I want to get these crabs in, in three hits each, I believe. Alright. No, six each. Alright, one of my spells actually fizzled there. So that's no good, but it didn't really waste a whole lot of time. Alright. Alright, he's in the thing. Okay. Gonna drop, intentionally fall here, but not take any damage, because it's not long enough of a fall to take damage. There is falling damage. It's very easy to die from falling. Alright, so we're just, again, pushing the snails into the cages. Alright. And coming up here, um, we're going to get this save because there's kind of a trick coming up. Jump over here. Alright, so normally, okay, so we're actually going to go through this maze. Normally you skip it in any percent, but we actually have to go through it. I'm going to try to get a ledge grab. Did it. Alright, so that skips taking falling damage there, which is kind of annoying. And it's kind of blind. If there's no setup for that, you just kind of do it. And then shoot this to open the door. Okay, here's the hardest part of this map. I have to do some kind of tricky platforming here to not die. So I'm going to kind of focus. Got that jump. Got that jump. Here's the hard jump. Okay, it's not that hard, I guess, but <laughs> we did it. That is way more uh, intense than it looks because of the, the fact that Harry does not accelerate instantly. So I'm timing those jumps very carefully. Back jump here. Again, oops, failed that. Jumping into ledges to get shorter animations. 
Okay, so here I'm going to try not to fall into this pit and die. Did it? Alright, we should be okay, yep. And then there's this trap door. We're actually nearing the end of the level. Jumping into ledges to skip the animations. Or not skip the animations, but... Okay, we did it. And that puts us right back in this classroom, and now we're going to go fight Malfoy. It's not a super hard fight, but it's kind of easy to mess up. It, it'll be over before you know it, so don't blink. Right, have, I ever, have I ever played the other versions? No, I've only played the PC games, actually. Okay, so, no, I'm not doing fast Malfoy strats. Okay, so don't blink here. This fight's over in a moment. Okay, done. We killed him. Alright, we're going to go for the, my favorite trick in the game, which is the Ron Bounce. We're going to try to get on top of Ron's head here and have him propel us to the door a little faster. Okay, we kind of fucked it up, but don't worry about it. That's funny, because that was a really good... That looked like it was going to get it, but I didn't move over to the right enough. It's inconsequential, though, so don't worry about it. Yeah, Malfoy's dead. This game does diverge from the book a little bit in that uh, Malfoy actually dies. Again, we have to do the arrow keys here because it's, um, you don't have enough house points to be worried about getting the slow, uh, going into the slow room. Yep, so yeah. You can actually kill Malfoy faster, even faster than that, but it's very risky. And I'm, I've done it in runs before, but I'm not going to go for it because it's too risky and it's very easy to fail. So we just went for the safe Malfoy strats there, which can still fail. I've had them fail before. It's very frustrating, but luckily we got it. So if you have ever watched any percent, you'll already notice that this run is entirely different. We're not doing any of, this, of the any percent skips. So this coming level here is skipped entirely in any percent, and we're not going to do that because we can't brightness boost. So since we don't have the power of going up in the air, we kind of have to play this level all the way through. But there are some tricks along the way to help it go faster. Again, I'm holding, I'm actually holding my strafe buttons before the map loads, so I can start inputting the strafe direction right away. I'm gonna try to spawn a health here real quick. Didn't get it. This is on cycles over here, so I didn't waste time. Alright. We lure that guy over here by baiting him, and then we knock him in here. Okay, and we're gonna just walk right over here and do the same thing with this guy. This guy should take two hits. And right, we're not going to pick up the health because we're basically full health. And then we have one of the unskippable cutscenes for some reason. All right, I'm going to be kind of careful here because there is a bottomless pit right beyond that wall there. Okay, so I'm going to jump up here. Short ledge grab animation. Cut, cut this rope. Go down. And then, okay, we did it. We didn't die. Kill this pixie real quick, and then try to snipe the Defendo. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay, that was... Oh, I messed that up. We are supposed to do a boost off of this thing. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I didn't cast a spell. Okay, that sometimes happens. There we go. Oh yeah, the, it automatically casts the correct spell for whatever you're looking at. You don't have to select the spell manually. Okay, another moving object boost there. 
I played that very safe. I didn't need to do it like that. Alright, and then there's a snail right around the corner here. Okay, and we're going to push this platform from the side. Let's go over here. Kill the pixie. Again, jumping into all the ledges to save time on the animation. Cutscene. Skip it. Okay, be kind of careful here. Alright, so there's actually two pixies here, even though they look like one, because they're flying right next to each other. Okay, be careful because these mushrooms are poisonous. So I'm just going to jump in kind of a specific way to avoid them. Again, these plants have very strange hitboxes, so if you don't shoot them in the correct way, they can still damage you while they're hurt. So I almost got hit there. Alright, so this entire level's on a cycle, so hopefully we're going to actually make the cycle here. I think we'll be okay, because I haven't made any like huge mistakes. Okay, that was a little tight. Ooh, that was good. We got the perfect ledge grab. Oh, we made the cycle. Nice. That was very close to not making it. Okay, we made... Uh, that wouldn't have gone in. <laughs> Had to do that. So, like, you can you can bait the snails to move where you want them to if you kind of stand in front of them. And we're going to be using that a couple more times. Anyone who's, a, who's scared of spiders might want to look away in a few moments. Another moving object boost here. Alright, then I gotta be real careful. I'm gonna jump to avoid getting hit. Alright, we did it. Alright. Casting, we're gonna open the store. Alright, now we're nearing the end of the level. Hopefully we had a good... We had a... You know, okay, time. We're a little bit slower than PB. Alright, we got the snail into the pit. Okay, that was decent. Okay, oops, that was a little weird movement there. Again, I have basically these the angles that I have to walk at I have memorized, so I don't have to adjust my mouse every time I move, because the mouse controls are very bad, and there's a lot of acceleration. I'm also casting spells each time I jump, just I'll just reiterate to cancel the jumping animation, save uh, save time. Move a little, you move a little faster when you're not in that animation. Okay, so here we're gonna do something really silly. We're gonna try to, we're gonna pick a mushroom from over here, and we're gonna actually stay on top of it. Okay, that's good. We got perfect RNG there, and then we're gonna just skip all the way over here. And that skips half a level. Gonna be kind of careful with these plants. They can hurt you. Picking up that frog because he's in my way. So that the frogs are health pickups. So now I've got nice full health. Hopefully I don't lose it over here. Okay, good. Those, those guys didn't hit me. Okay. Just gotta be careful of these spiders. If you jump on the spiders, you get a tiny boost. I'm trying to cut corners here to go fast. Oh, that's no good. That hasn't happened in a long time. Alright, whoops. Alright, so we just accidentally fell down. So that wastes a bunch of time, so now I have to go back up here. There we go, that's what you're supposed to do. This is now a trash run. Alright, so here we have 
one of the harder tricks coming up. It is the Dumbledore cutscene skip. We are going to make a kind of precise jump to avoid hitting a trigger that takes us into a cutscene. Normally, this is the part where you go to Dumbledore's office, if you remember from the book or from playing this game. Uh, we are just going to go right past it. We're going to just use uh, the staircase to boost ourselves uh, onto the next section. You'll see in a moment where there's an invisible trigger, and hopefully we are going to skip it. Alright, so I'm going to go very carefully right here. We did it. So that's a lot harder than it looks. If you don't make it onto that spot, you're, you you um, you fall down. And even worse, if I had gone even like a tiny bit more left there, I would have gotten sucked into a three minute cutscene. So we just avoided all of that. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're following the trail of chicken legs uh, to find Goyle. <laughs> yeah, that was that almost didn't work. <laughs> okay, so what we need to now do is find Goyle and uh, pluck his hair out so that we can turn into him for the you know the polyjuice potion. I'm gonna try to do a kind of a cool trick right here with the jumps. I'm gonna try to not to grab the ledge. Ah, I grabbed the ledge. If you're really good with your movement there, you can uh, make it without grabbing the ledge. Alright, now we have this little elevator section. I'm going to try to hit these crabs in midair. Didn't work. Okay, now what we need to do is try... I'm going to go for the fast strats here. And we didn't quite get it. It was close, though. Alright. Oops. Had a little ledge grab there. I'm grabbing saves just to be safe in case, you know, for any reason I fall down a pit and die. It's always a hazard. And then... Whoa! Trapdoor! Okay. We dealt with that guy. Kill this guy just to be safe. Alright, in this room, I'm just gonna try to take the best route. Oops, almost died there. See, that's what I'm talking about. These, these uh, green things do damage, too, if you don't destroy them. No, I'm not... Okay, so Liam suggested I go for the two-cycle boss fight, but it's very hard, and I've never practiced it, really, so I'm not definitely not doing it. I'm going for probably three-cycle, considering I have good health. If I continue, I might have good health. Okay, here we're just going to fall down. Okay, we did get hit, but it was kind of minimal damage, so it doesn't matter. This health is fine. Alright, so that's the end of the map right there. Okay, so now we're actually gonna turn into Goyle. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna drink the Polyjuice potion and we're gonna transform into Goyle, and it's gonna be hilarious. Okay, so now we're Goyle, and we got really lucky. We spawned a frog there. That's really good. That um that means that I don't have to get one in forest. Although, there is an easy one to get in forest, so I'm probably going to get it anyway. But, I always like to have that backup frog. I am going to take intentional damage here, because it's a little faster. 
Oh, that was really good. We got the strat. Okay, so normally you take more damage than that, but since I landed uh, 360 pixie proxy with no cast, dude, that's crazy. Alright, so since I landed on the lamppost in the proper way there, I actually only took like half health. That's kind of a strat I found. So, okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to the dungeons and we need to find Malfoy so we can question him. So we can question him about who the heir of Slytherin is. So we just listen to this wonderful voice acting in this cutscene. I don't know if that was audible, I was really quiet, but um, the, the voice actor for Goyle is just something special. I'm gonna step on the dais and just wait for the cutscene. There's kind of a difficult trick coming up, I'll let you know when it happens. It is called the bridge skip, it's been in the run for a little while. Okay. That room has some weirdness there. Sometimes you can't shoot that vine even though it looks like you should be able to. That's just an engine bug, kind of. Alright, so now we're going for bridge skip. This is really tight. If I don't do this properly, I basically just have to try again, but I'm using the fact that I'm canceling the jumping animation to my advantage. Oh no, we didn't get it. Alright. Try one more time. Oh, that was that was a bad attempt. Oops. Oop, we didn't get we didn't trigger the thing. Alright, let's try that one more time. Okay, there we go. That's what it looks like. Okay, so you can jump right across there, skip having to do the um, actual puzzle solution. Not really a puzzle, but you know. And then we're just going to take fast paths here. Luckily, it doesn't cost too much time to fail that, because there's a save right before it. But if there wasn't, that would be really bad. But luckily, there is a save right in front of it, so... So the, w the way that trick works is that it re relies on your understanding of the movement and uh, when you're on flat ground, it's usually faster to just walk, because jumping is slow. But when you're on slanted ground, uh, it's pretty much always faster to actually to jump. Like, in that situation. Okay, so the Polyjuice Potion wore off, and now we have to dodge all the students and make it out alive. We're on a bit of a weird cycle. Okay, never mind, the cycle's good. These guys are pretty easy to dodge. Professor Snape. Okay, we're coming up on the final spell challenge, actually. It's the Spongify spell challenge. Okay, we're going to do this little trick again. Alright, and then we, again, we have to do these arrow keys. The wand that appears in front of you is going to move around the shape. When the wand is positioned perfectly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key to hit the target. There are three parts to this exercise. In each part, you must correctly and accurately hit all of the points in order to go forward. Round one, begin. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. 
Sorry, you've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Griffin. Round three. All right, Begin let's it. let's try not to mess up. Cutscene skip button. Alright, so now we're in the SpongeBob challenge. This is probably one of the funnest parts of the game. Oops. Alright. So we missed one of the snipes. We're gonna go for the third snipe. Ah, just barely didn't get it. Alright. There are some uh, snipes you can do on this map with your spells. Alright, so in the next room, after this one, okay, so we're doing a skip here, there's usually a trigger you're supposed to hit, uh, but we just walked right by it. And, okay, so now I'm going to do some real tricky platforming. Oop, didn't quite do it correctly. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, so that, what I was supposed to do is land on the beam there, and normally that's not what happens in that room. Normally you have to fight some crabs, but again, they didn't place the triggers very carefully, we just can go around them. Alright, kill this guy. Again, we're doing another moving object boost on this platform. Just to go like that. And we're actually at the end of the level already, it's a very short level. And that's it. After we were gonna... There we go. Alright, we finished Spongify. Really quick. Level. Because we skip half of it. They didn't kind of expect you to grab that platform near the end. Because you, you can control yourself in midair, slightly. So you can redirect where your Harry goes. Alright, so now we're going to the forest level. Um, very easy to fail tricks here. Uh, very easy to take damage. We want to exit this level with full health. Alright, that was good. We're going to take advantage of that Spongify tile to get up here really quick. Really quick. Alright. We're actually going to purposefully not get this health because there's health um, in the level itself. We're going to save this frog for later. Oops. Oh, here's a cutscene. Alright, so this is like one of the only unskippable cutscenes. So, oh, we're gonna have some fun looking at uh, Hagrid here. Come on now. In the box. It's alright. Come on out. There you go. Evening, Mubeus. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone, but monsters don't make good pets. It never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. Stand aside. No! And we're gonna... So this is actually, like, the memory that... This is supposed to be, like, the part where... Tom Riddle shows Harry what happens with Aragog, and... Okay, so now we're gonna go into the forest and fight Aragog. We have to make it through, like, the forest is, like, a whole level. Oops. Okay. Drop down here. And there's a couple tricks that are coming up that I'll kind of explain as we get to them. But so, right now it's just, uh, walking the forest. Alright, so you might notice I'm at half health because I took intentional damage on the way to the Slytherin common room level. So what we're going to try to do is replenish our health here. And Oh, we bounced on Ron's head. That's good luck. So the goal is to 
exit this level with full HP. So here we're going to cast on the statue, reveal these spongify tiles, and we're going to go, wee! Nice. And there's health pickup right here, got it. Going to try not to get hit by this thing. Alright, now we're going to skirt a trigger by standing on this thing over here. Just barely didn't get that, jumped a little too early. What that looks like when you get it is that you jump onto that thing on the side there and then back onto the bridge and it looks really cool. We, we just barely missed it. Alright, we're doing a Spongify redirect here. We're going to go all the way down, taking advantage of no falling damage while you have Spongify. Oops, got a long animation. Ah, we almost got a ledge grab skip there. Hello, Socrates fam. How's it going? Okay, we're going to be a little careful here not to get hit by these spiders. Alright. Again, we're going to kill these guys so we don't, they don't hug us, because we hate hugs. I don't know why the chat has just died. I'm not sure what happened. Alright, so then we walk. Okay, so that was pretty good. We made it through forest without taking a lot of damage. We did. We missed the trick, but it's alright. Only saves about a few seconds. Okay, so turn up your volumes here, because this guy is really quiet for some reason. This is the final boss. Thank you, oh Huckabee. Alright, that was good RNG. We want him to do certain attacks. Alright, so we're going to just try to dodge him whenever he tries to come after us. Good. That was, that was a really good attack. Alright, we barely dodged him there. It was kind of risky. All right, come on, good RNG last fit. Ah, oh, we didn't get that's bad RNG. All right, we killed him. That was a decent fight. Oh yeah, Hermione's already dead. We're going to visit her in the hospital. Okay. I forgot to get off of Discord live channel something. That's silly of me. Okay, so we're going into the last kind of few set of levels here. Uh, we actually managed to make it out with full HP, so I don't really need this pickup. We might as well get it anyway, just for fun. So this means that we can go for fast uh, pixie proxy. Which be So at the end of this level here, I'm going to go for a strat that involves me redirecting myself off of a flying enemy in midair. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so we're taking advantage again of the fact that you don't take damage off of Spongify to drop all the way down here. And then we're going to be avoiding some crushers here that are on a cycle by going fast. Alright, we made it. Okay, so we're just avoiding these crushers, like by back walking through them, with like, there we go. Okay, and we're also going to do a little ledge grab here to skip uh, this section. Oops, got a ledge grab. Okay, we want to go really fast to make the cycle. We're going for fast uh, pixie proxy. Oop, that was weird. Okay. Okay, that was good. Alright, here it is. I'm going to try to bounce off this pixie in midair. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we made it. And... We did it! Alright. Okay, I need these guys to get out of my way now. 
There we go. That was <laughs> kind of annoying. And, oh, okay, we lost half our health. That's not good. But we got the hard part, and then they got in our way. Okay, we're just gonna kind of dodge these crabs. Oops, get in there. Oops, didn't mean to grab that. Okay, then we're just gonna be a little careful here and shoot this guy before we jump down. We don't have a whole lot of health, but it's more than I've had sometimes. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the game here. The final boss is very random. We're going to be hitting him at very specific times to kind of cancel his animations. Also, there's a bridge trap here. I'm going to survive by clinging to the wall. That's a fun little trick. Definitely, it's actually not a glitch. Just, there's just collision there. And a little auto scroller right here. Okay. Yeah, so once we come up on the boss, we're going to try to stun him in certain animations so that we can get more hits off on him. Basically. Kind of hard to explain, but I'll you'll see in a second. Yep, <laughs> that's a fun little thing. Oops, my spell fizzled there. Yeah, for some reason they let you walk there, and uh, yeah, <laughs> there's cl there's a surface there. All right, here's the final boss. So it's, he can kill you very quickly. So we're gonna be a little careful. We're gonna play this a tad safer than normal. Okay, that was more health than I wanted to, more damage than I wanted to take. Okay, here's the boss. So first phase is very easy. You just shoot him. Like that. I'm deliberately waiting on each time so that he's in a certain animation, otherwise he'll attack you. Okay, we're going to go for the three cycle, here we go. Okay, there goes our potion. We made that potion earlier in... Po potion... Oh, we got that hit off. That's really good. Okay, so notice how we... Okay, we took damage there, but it... Oh, we did it. Okay, we did it. That was really close to death. That was a gold. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was a pretty good fight, actually. So, um, we were very close to dying there. That one more hit, I would have been dead. And... time? Okay. That's the run, boys and, and ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but one more thing before the credits roll. Um, we have less house points than Slytherin. And yet, they're gonna say that uh, we won the house cup. <laughs> which is kind of funny. They didn't program a bad ending in, so even though we didn't Silence. technically get enough house points to win, they're still going to give us the good ending. That was a crazy fight. I am uh, <laughs> really happy that went smoothly. Thank you to everyone who helped me kind of pioneer this category over the last few months. Uh, we, had, we had a lot of... Um, we, we put in a lot of hard work to get to make this category what it is. And I'd like to shout out Liam Oravec in the chat, uh, Mr. Max G, uh, Luigi, um, anyone, everyone from the speedrunning community for Harry Potter 2. We do have a Discord. Um, I can link it, I guess. Ah, uh, eh, whatever. So th thanks everybody for watching. If you want to get into this game, uh, we do have an any percent tutorial. We're working on a glitchless tutorial. Uh, I just want to thank Sloa for setting up this um, this awesome marathon for us. So, uh, for us to showcase glitchless runs, because I actually really like the glitchless run of this game. I think it's, you get to show off more of the game. And what? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your GGs. <laughs> 
Again, I'm gonna plug myself in the chat real quick. Oh, no, uh... Alright, so... <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks you guys so much for letting me show this runoff. I've worked really hard on it. I, If you guys don't know, this uh, kind of... Me and some other guys had to change the rules for this run very recently. Because um, it used to be very different, so we kind of reworked it. <laughs> uh, so I'm really happy with like the state of this run. Don't worry, slow. It's fine. Yeah, this game has undergone a lot of changes in the past year. We've overhauled the rules completely. It's a great time to get into speedrunning it if you find it, it interesting at all. Uh, okay, I think I think we're now ready for VPOP's Prince of Persia run. Uh, one of the, uh, yeah, Prince of Persia, 2008, glitchless. So, everybody, give it up for uh, V Pop, and thank you so much for watching. It was